Ukraine awaits permission from US to target Russia's Voronezh Malshevo Air Base with ATACMS. Voronezh Malshevo Air Base, a base for Sukhoi Su-34 fighter bombers, which launch glide bombs at Ukrainian troops and civilians, is seemingly off of Ukraine's list for now, says David Axe from Forbes. The base is 100 miles from the border with Ukraine, while aircraft conduct airstrikes from a distance of 25 miles away or farther. According to the Ukrainian analysis group Frontelligence Insight, a large number of jets are located at the airfield, enabling the simultaneous deployment of bombs, allowing multiple bombs to hit Ukrainian territory at once. Forbes says that, to be clear, Ukrainian forces have other ways of stopping the glide bombers. So far, however, they're not working on the planes from Voronezh Malshevo. One option is to shoot down the bombers before they release their munitions. The problem is that the Ukrainian Air Force doesn't have enough of its best US-made Patriot air defense batteries to protect major cities, to say nothing of extending that protection close enough to the border to intercept the 47th Guards Bomber Aviation Regiment's Sukhois. Ukraine has just five Patriot batteries in place or on the way. One protects Kyiv. It seems others protect Odessa and Kharkiv, two additional batteries that Germany and the United States have pledged but not yet delivered could safeguard Dnipro and Kriviri. Unless and until Ukraine's allies send a lot more Patriot batteries, don't expect the Ukrainians to risk one along the northern border between Voronezh, Malshevo and Kharkiv. But Ukrainian forces are capable of striking the airbase with long-range ATACMS. However, the White House hasn't yet permitted the Ukrainian government to fire at the Voronezh Malshevo. Analyst Justin Bronk said in a new study for the Royal United Services Institute in London that deploying F-16 fighter jets would also be risky due to Russia's ground-based air defenses and glide bomb sorties will be very challenging to intercept regularly. Ukraine can use strike drones to target the base, but they haven't heavily bombarded Voronezh Malshevo due to allegedly dense Russian air defenses. While applying all these tactics could be successful for Ukraine, the use of ATA CMS seems to be probably the best option for stopping Russia's brutal glide bombing campaign. Currently, Ukrainians wait for permission to hit it with long-range missile systems. Meanwhile, cities and villages of Ukraine continue to suffer from Russian terror. Thank you.